Hello, welcome to this class. In this lesson, we shall learn about how to convert from moles to the mass and the number of particles. These interconversions are very important in the topic of the mole. Now, as a recap, I'd like to remind you that one mole of a substance contains 6.023 times 10 to the power of 23 particles. It also follows that the relative atomic mass value in grams is equivalent to the molar mass. And what this means is, let's say, for example, you had sodium. The relative atomic mass of sodium is 23. That means if you measured 23 grams of sodium, you end up with one mole of sodium. So these three statements are very important, especially when you're calculating between moles, mass, and the number of particles. So let us see how they're applied in questions. So in this question, we have said, calculate the number of moles in 4.2 grams of iron. The number that you've been provided right here in brackets stands for the relative atomic mass of iron. So from our previous example that I showed you, it means that 56 grams of iron would contain one mole of iron. Then now it would be easy to relate and ask ourselves, how about the 4.2 grams that we've been provided? So in this case, we're going to cross multiply. So you'll take 4.2 multiplied by 1 mole divided by 56. Alright, so here we're going to cross out the grams and uh, our answer is going to be given right here in moles. So if you punch this into the calculator, the 4.2 times 1 over 56, this gives us 0 0.075 moles. Now let us head to our second example. How many grams of calcium contain 4.5 times 10 to the power of 24 atoms? So in this question, it is very easy. What you need to do, first of all, you realize that uh, when we have one mole of calcium, it will have a molar mass of 40 grams. Now, what this means is that one mole of calcium has a mass of 40 grams, and also one mole of calcium has 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 particles. So it can also be extended and say that also 40 grams contain 6.023 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms. Right. So now, if uh, we ignore this one for now, and we end up with this. The question now is, how many grams of calcium will have 4.5 times 10 to power 24 atoms? So we'll put a question mark right here and say, how about the 4.5 times 10 to the power of 24 atoms? So here again, we'll cross multiply and it will be 4.5 times 10 to the power of 24 times 40 over 6.023 times 10 to the power of 23. Now from here you see that uh, you will need to cross out the atoms because they are on the opposite sides of the fraction. And then now we multiply. Our answer right here is going to be in grams. Once you multiply that, you end up with a 298.9 grams. And that becomes your answer. Now for the final example, just to show you how these are interconverted, we're going to have one more question. So the question is, Calculate the number of atoms in 0.25 moles of sulfur. 
And right here, you've been given the relative atomic mass of sulfur. Now, once again, we say one mole of sulfur usually contains 6.023 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms. So that one is uh, for one mole of sulfur. Then how about the 0 0.25 moles of sulfur that you've been provided with? So you multiply 0 0.25 times 6.023 times 10 to the power 23, divide by one mole of sulfur. So the number of moles you cross out and then you multiply this and you end up with 1.5057 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms. So these are the three examples that are showing you how to convert between the moles, the mass, and the number of particles. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if this is your first time in this channel, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you'll always be notified whenever I upload new videos. See you next time.